Hi, my name's Danila Grando and I teach clinical microbiology. This video is being designed to help students quickly set up a microscope for good resolution and we call it the ABC of microscope setup. A stands for amps. So check that your power switch is on and while you're looking down the eyepieces, slowly adjust the light up to around 80%. For some microscopes, you may need to push it all the way to 100%. B is for bright field, and you can see where the arrow is pointing in the photograph that indicates the part of the microscope we call the bright field. For some microscopes, this is adjustable, and it's an important step in cola illumination, but that'll be the subject of another video. C is for condenser and it's very important to have the condenser at the right height. Generally speaking you can just rack the condenser all the way up towards the stage and then just back it off about two millimeters. That's approximately the right height if you're not using Kohler illumination. D is for diaphragm so look very carefully at the condenser unit and you can see a tiny little lever that can slide to an open and closed position for the diaphragm that's inside the condenser. So when you're starting off start off with a 10 objective and have the diaphragm closed. When you move to the times 40 objective you're going to have it slightly open and if you're using an oil objective for oil immersion microscopy, you'll need it all the way open. E is for eyepiece, and when you're starting to use a microscope, you might find it easier just to use one eye, but we hope that with some extra practice that you can use both eyes. But it's very important that when you're looking down the microscope, you only see one image. So if I um, move my eyepieces closer together, hopefully I'll find a point where I'm only seeing one image. F is for focus and the reason that we point this out is it's important that you use the two knobs that are present in the right um, way. So when you start off you're using the times 10 objective and only use the coarse knob to roughly find where your um, image is under the microscope. So rack your times 10 objective down as far as it'll go. It won't smash the slide, don't worry. And then using the coarse focus, just raise the times 10 objective until you see the image. You can use the fine focus a little bit at this point to sharpen that image, but when you swing in your times 40 or your times 100, it'll almost be in focus at that point. So now grab your slide and let's focus. So place your slide centrally, bring your times 10 down as close as possible, remembering it won't smash the slide so you're safe with your times 10. And then find a nice solid part of your section or smear so that you can use your coarse focus to sharpen the image. I then move to a thinner part of the smear and particularly since I'm a microbiologist I look for a thin part of the section so that I can see individual microorganisms. Our times 40 objective is called high dry and it's sufficient for most cover slip sections but in microbiology we also use the times 100 and we need to use this with a drop of oil. Now because of that be careful don't get any oil on the times 40 objective. It's one of the things that microbiologists really hate because of times 40 is very difficult to clean the oil off. Now please remember only use the fine focus knob when you're trying to sharpen your image with the times 40 or times 100 objective. If you use the coarse knob you could smash the slide. And please don't over rotate the fine focus if you're having trouble finding your image with times 40 or times 100. The best thing to do is to go back to your times 10 and roughly find your focus again rather than over spinning and running out of thread with your times uh, with your fine focus. 
Okay, so if we were to assess you on your use of setting up the microscope, this is what we would go through. We would check that there is power, there's bright light coming through the bright field. We'd look for the height of the condenser. We'd check that you have the correct diaphragm position and the correct opening. And we would hope that you were using the right focus when um, using the, a particular objective. So, I'd like you to have a look now at this picture and I'd like you to test your understanding of the points that we've just been through. Now there are three things that are possibly incorrect with this microscope setup. I'll give you a little bit of time to think about it and then um, I'll show you the answer slide. You can stop the um, video at this point to um, think about what's wrong with this microscope setup. 